you know, back in the day, they used to call me Minuteman, but not for the reason you think. 60 Seconds is a game about a nuclear family trying to survive the nuclear apocalypse. Don't ask why I'm wearing the mustache, I'm a family man now, get over it. Now I'm not the most skilled at 60 Seconds, but you know what I am skilled at? Is surviving the duration of the apocalypse. With that being said, I'm not gonna go with Sar Bomba, I'm gonna go with Fat Man, because that seems like the most reasonable one. This is an average experience. So we're gonna go playing as Ted instead of Dolores, because I don't know the difference. And then we're gonna choose Fat Man. We're gonna begin our adventure. I have to talk like this so that the mustache stays on my face. So we have about 10 seconds to explore. I gotta find my family. Dolores is in the room. She's gonna be the first one that I grab. Grab Dolores. I'm gonna send her down to the bunker first. I'm gonna grab my son and my beautiful daughter. Okay. Uh, throw him in there. Just you're gonna be fine. Grab her. She takes up three slots. Throw her in there. Oh, we absolutely need the briefcase that's coming with. I'm gonna take the rifle on the wall because as a family man, I need to have my guns. God bless America. I'm gonna take the axe. The food's coming with. We gotta take a flashlight in case we run out of power somehow. Gotta take the board games. Oh, that's not the board games. We gotta go. We're done. We're done. Get ourselves in there. We're done. We're done. <sighs> that wasn't the easiest experience, but I think we have the necessities. We have our family, and family is the most important thing you could possibly have. We've got food, water, and a med kit. Day one, all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Our shelter used to be fully stocked, but somehow we always found a better way to use the stocked supplies instead of leaving them for an emergency. Once we had a soup dinner party, another time we needed the rifle to help our neighborhood watch in a vicious fight against raccoons. Luckily, some of the supplies were left untouched. So we all seem to be fine for the day. We don't need any food. We have Timmy, Mary Jane, Dolores, and Ted. I'd say that we're well stocked up on food and water. If we rationalize properly and give everyone the, 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 the desired uh, necessities that they need, we should be fine. One minute, it was all fine, and the next, we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This was insane. We need to get a grip on ourselves if we are going to survive this. Let's sleep on it. Oh, okay. Wait, there's more. Well, looky here. One of the must have hid... One of us must have hid this inside a suitcase a while ago. It was so lucky we took the suitcase. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We have to ration it strictly. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're not gonna feed anyone. We're not gonna drink anything. We're fine. Day two. I'd say we're doing great. I hear a knock at the door. Kids, don't answer the door for anyone unless it's your parents or unless you're equipped with just the right amount of protection. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this won't happen again. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. And I don't mean that in a non, in a, in a, fuck. Everything seems okay with Dolores. Timmy's good. Well, at least he had, he was five minutes ago. It looks like the area is still a rat. Red. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. Ted is happy to risk his life in the wastes. Dolores is confident. Wasteland is no match for Mary. Timmy seems quite enthusiastic about the trip. Should we prepare? No, we're not preparing for an expedition. It's still unsafe. We're gonna wait for the apo- We're gonna wait for the, 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 uh, the, 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 fuck, I can't think of the word. There's nothing more surprising than a knock at the, uh, the fallout shelter door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our lives? Uh, I'm a family man and I put my family first. I don't think that it's a safe idea. We're gonna say no to this right now. Day three, the banging stopped after a while and whoever was at the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last. Water is what Mary Jane needs right now. Dolores will not last long without water. 
How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking so good. All right, fine. Everyone gets water, but no food. The contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness, but we're not going to do that. We're going to be totally fine. Playing a game or two might be a good idea to relieve the mood and take our minds off the problems of today and tomorrow. And hey, playing games is good for you, so why not give it a try? Okay, well, we unfortunately didn't bring any games downstairs. The games weren't my first priority. Despite the fact that I did try to bring chess down here, I think chess has some great replayability. Or was it checkers? Whichever one it was, it's got some great replayability. The contamination of our town is still strong. Ugh. I think we're fine on supplies for right now. So I wouldn't say we need to go out and do an expedition just yet. Once we start running out of stuff and we're having a hard time rationing all of our supplies, then I think is when we can start going out and getting ourselves into trouble. Mary Jane has been dropping hints that it's a special day for her today. We had to think about it hard. And after eliminating your average festivities, the anniversary of that great BBQ we had three years ago, and International Popcorn Day, we realized she was talking about her birthday. That means we need to get her a gift. We don't have any cards, and I'm not giving my daughter bug spray. We need the first aid kit desperately, so she's just gonna have to go a year without a birthday. Sorry, Dolores. I mean, Mary Jane. I survived five days in the fallout shelter. Mayor Jane is too old for birthdays. That's what we think. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Dolores is fine and well. As much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter, no news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. All right. I'd say, I'd say we can survive. I don't know how long the fallout is supposed to last, but... I'd say about five more days and we should be good. We didn't think we could get the chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we were offered by a man who knocked on our door today. Two cans of food, we win, we get his two cans, we lose, we get him, we give him two of ours. Are we going to do it? We don't have any fucking cards, so we're gonna have to just say no. Please don't tell me we got robbed. That would be the last thing that we need. Uh, Mary Jane, you're not looking too hot. You could definitely use a shower. I'm smelling you from all the way over here. Ted should drink something soon. Water is what Mary Jane needs right now. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Okay. All right, so Ted just needs something to drink. Everybody else needs food and water. Timmy prefers apple juice. Okay, so Mary, so Ted, so everyone wants water. Dolores and Mary Jane are the only ones who need food. Ah, okay. Okay. All right, this works. This works. This is good. This is good. I like I like those odds. We still got one bottle of water left. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. <sighs> I'm not going to do it today. But once we start running out of water, like really running out, like we have no more water, that's when I think we're going to start expediting. Going on expeditions. I don't think I used that word properly. We had planned to go to Niagara Falls and see beautiful waterfalls. We never expected to get a waterfall of our own in our shelter. Right now, it seems that half a dozen pipes burst and all that water is pouring right into our bunker. We need to save our supplies. Of course, we're gonna save the portable radio. How else is the family man gonna know that the nuclear apocalypse has ended? Save that radio because we have nothing else to save. Oh, look at all that water damage. That's what you like to see. The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it had done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days. And what's that smell? It smells like... It smells like my hot ass. And like Dolores just took a shit inside of the first aid kit. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Ted is no longer thirsty. Ted's stomach is rumbling, though. All right, so Ted needs some food. Timmy is no longer hungry, but he, or thirsty, but he's very hungry. Well, at that point, you should have just eaten with everyone else, you fucking bastards. I mean, I'm a family man. I don't use that kind of language. We heard something about supply drops on the radio. This just might be what we need to survive, and it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go out and find out if it's really true? Well, we don't have a goddamn gas mask either. 
I'd say we just risk it. Risk it for some chocolate biscuits. Nothing wrong with that. It is way too dangerous to go out there without any protection. So we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. White noise is probably one of my favorite ways to fall asleep. It's what I get off to every night. Huh? This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back and they're all bigger every time I see them. I can't take it so on like this. Uh, the radioactivity is really getting to me right now. It's time to wage our war on these spiders. Use that fucking bug spray. Show those spiders who America really is. All right. If there's one thing that can drive spiders away and stop us climbing up on furniture, it's the bug killing spray. There was the right time to unleash this deadly weapon and the results were excellent. We eradicated 404. Oh, 404. I was like, error 404? What, the, what are you talking about? Of those little bastards, we even found a water bottle stashed in the corner. It was a good day. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. I'm fucking locked in. That's what I'm talking about. The American dream, the family man mindset. Lock in. <sighs> but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be, oh, I don't think they meant like, like focus lock in. I think they meant like stay down here locked in. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the, the military. Hello, do you read us? We lasted for 10 days. Sorry, I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. It looks like an issue with the router and echo device, so try restarting them. Unplug both of them, then plug the router back in. Wait 30 seconds. Once the router is back on and connected to the internet, plug in the echo device. As a family man, I find it extremely disrespectful that technology would disrupt me in the middle of my family bonding process. I'm, I'm actually very appalled. We knew it. The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Ted isn't thirsty, so everyone's fine. Nobody needs anything. Still highly radioactive. I think we can I think we can last the the entire time without having to take any trips out to the great outdoors. It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's days, night or day. Our sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping too bad. We can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. Now, whatever that's gonna do, I, I don't wanna waste my med kit. As a family man, safety first. Await further instructions from the military. Got it. Day 11. Lucky number 11. Bravely ignoring our symptoms. Oh. 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 Was I... Was I supposed to do that? Fuck. We tried to get at least one or two hours of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were, and there are other problems we'll need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Hungry, tired, I can't do anything about that, Mary Jane. Mary Jane went nuts, God damn it. Dolores would really love to eat something. Ted is not complaining today. No news is good news. Everybody gets to eat today. Everyone eats. We have enough food. The dreadful silence is becoming boring. And like every happy model family, we don't have that many things to talk about. Is there anything we can do about that? Anything at all? Turn on the radio. Listen to the news. What could possibly be going on in the great town? Ah, how fortunate. We took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Mary Jane still isn't completely sane. It fills us with worry, but there's not much we can do. When Mary Jane is tired, she becomes cranky. She could be better in a few days. Mary Jane is no longer hungry. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking all day. Dolores is still tired and can't seem to sleep. Dolores is no longer hungry. Water. 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 Alright everyone, this is our last bit of water. 
Everyone gets one tongue dip. It's been a while. We don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If only we had a chance to turn some, turn in some, tune in to some emergency radio broadcast and learn a thing or two. Always. We made it. Safety. Safety. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement services. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel the surface now. Mary Jane still acts quite peculiar, not happy, bright young lady she used to be. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. No longer thirsty. Ted isn't thirsty. Loris is rested. Loris is no longer thirsty. And Ted, or Timmy, is no longer thirsty. I'm gonna send... I'm gonna... Timmy is not in the best condition. Fuck. Shit. Uh, we had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems it's ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. I'll send Ted. Make contact with other wastelanders. This might be a bad idea. Good news? When we answered the phone, we could hardly, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a uh, nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was sh cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their end. We hope they will get back to us soon. Mary Jane still acts quite peculiar. Mary Jane is still tired. Let's give her some time to rest. Head is fine. Everything seems okay with Dolores. Team is good. All right. We'll send somebody out on an expedition. Where's a ball when you need one? We are really bored and we need something to occupy ourselves with. Too many hours of counting pipe droplets is not healthy. There has to be an alternative. The fucking checkers board. God damn it. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Goddamn checkers board. As a family man, I think it's safe to send myself out first. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the, the rifle. No, I'm gonna take the briefcase, the rifle, and the axe. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's that's well preparedness. We've been preparing for this exhibition since yesterday and feel ready to go right now. Who should be lucky to venture into the unknown? I think that's good. That's that's good. I'm willing to take those chances. No longer hungry. He keeps fainting. We need to get her something to drink. All right, all right, all right. Everybody needs water, but we don't have it. I can't drink your spit. As we were considering alternatives to the canned soup, a di soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in a pretty bad shape. All they wanted was to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least a clean bandage. Uh, we got soup. We can we can provide soup. We can provide soup. That's that's fine. Oh, we got a map. I feel like we're missing a bunch of other stuff. Did they, did they rob us? We've never seen anyone so touched by a simple gift. A minute later, those poor people were hugging us like there was no tomorrow. Quite possible, actually. And thanking us for the gesture, they were eager to repay us. And one of their group, uh, one of one of their group, offered us a map of the local area. They claimed it helped them get here, so it brought luck upon whoever used it. We promised we will give it a try and wish them a safe journey. I should have taken the fucking map. Mary Jane keeps fainting. <sighs> Yesterday during charades, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell. I'm going to be honest with you, as a family man, I have no idea what this word is. And it has left Dolores sorely disappointed. She insists on home, or rather, shelter schooling. Sure, give us something to do. As a family man. Die in your fallout shelter. No! No! Dolores does not mess around. 
What started out as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math revision, followed by a short physics course and ending on tinkering, tinkering with random objects in the shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the state of our shelter has improved today. We found the door locked. We tried to get in. We knocked. We yelled. We heard nothing back. Someone or something is inside our home, and it ain't our home anymore. Time to move on. When Mary Jane found out she is not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this, and that's getting her water, and that she's getting her water one way or another. We are seriously terrified right now. It was only a few drops of water. If we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. We didn't make it. These are our final words and our advice to anyone who reads this obscured writing. We spent 23 days in our shelter. Day one, all of us are safe. Day six, winter takes all. Day seven, fighting the tide. Day nine, Spider-Man. Day 10, contact with the military. Day 11, sleepless in Adamville. Mary Jane went nuts. Day 12, silent as the grave. Day 13, nuclear fallout has gone. Day 14, an unexpected call. Day 17, widow's might. Day 18, great expectations. Thirst drove Mary Jane away. Dolores died of dehydration. Thirst drove Timmy away. An unknown force took our shelter. No. We were driven away. No. But I'm a family man. But I'm a family man. Despite being a family man, I. All good things must come to an end. Soup. Before we put an end to this video, I'm gonna play as Dolores, and I'm gonna do Sar Bamba. Dolores, I feel, is going to be a bit harder to play as because she can carry less. Maybe. I think. She might be able to. She might carry less than Ted. So I'm gonna try Dolores with the Sar Bamba difficulty. This gives us no preparation time. We just get in and go grab our family and our supplies. And we... Yeah. Get in there! Mary Jane, no time to play the trumpet. We need to get to our shelter as fast as possible. Timmy! Oh God, my sweet baby boy. You're as light as the day that I birthed you. We need the map. Take the goddamn map. Take some books, survival guides, board games, the axe, water. Grab that briefcase. Grab that shotgun. There's no time. Grab the rifle. I could have carried a few more things. Oh, oh, I don't want to risk it. This is it. I definitely could have grabbed more things. <sighs> Girl power. Now, we're not as well stocked as we were the previous time. In another timeline, we are more stocked and more prepared. We decided to have some fun today and play a game or two. The first one was picking the game we are going to play. This took us most of the day and we still haven't made up our minds. Good thing we actually have a game this time. We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. There has to be some water left. Laura should get it. All Ted wishes for is a few drops of water. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. How about... Okay, let's let's wait a couple of days. The body can usually go about three days without water. So tomorrow, we'll definitely drink something. Dolores will not survive without water. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. All right, all right, all right, all right. Everybody needs water. I understand. Mary Jane insists she doesn't feel complete without her musical instrument. If she hit it well, maybe her tuba is still safe somewhere in the ruins of our house. A reminder of her hobbies and what life used to be might cheer her up. Ah, you know what? Fine. Fine, Mary Jane. I'll allow it. But just be back quickly and be safe about it. I'm a family man after all. Oh, God. She didn't come back. Oh, no. Oh, what have I done? Mary Jane got very excited when we agreed to let her look for her tuba. She said if she can't find the instrument, she'll settle for anything else she can find. Like she some sheet music. We sure hope that tuba does, didn't make it. We're pretty sure we prefer radio static or even the sweet sound of silence. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she returns. Okay. All right. All right. As a family man, dear God, please let my daughter come back safely. It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. 
Hopefully we will keep our peace or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest. Ah! The gods have answered my prayers. My poor girl has returned. Did she also... Did she... What have she brought back? Anything? It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like this. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of these pessimisms and try to bring some cheerful into our lives. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning. I know that's right. As a family man, I couldn't agree more. Mary Jane's thirsty, but we just gave everyone water. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they'd come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup, but they'd get lost and would be more grateful if we would let them check our map, provided we have one. Oh fuck, I didn't actually, I meant to click on the map and give them the map. Oh no, we've made enemies. They were not happy with us. Although we tried to decline politely, the guests were clearly offended. The ga they galloped away, waving their wooden swords and screaming something about cutting down shrubberies. Absolutely crazy. Dolores is no longer hungry. Water is all Dolores wants. Has to drink something soon. All right, all right, wait, wait, wait. Water for Dolores and Ted, and food for Timmy. Food and water for Timmy. We found some weird mushrooms growing on one of the walls. Food shortage is no laughing matter, so maybe no. That's not a. That's not a good idea at all. Bad idea. No mystery mushrooms. We may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. As a family man, I can attest to this. Surprisingly, I'm actually doing a lot better on the Sar Bomba difficulty than I thought I was. If there's one thing we need to do, it's use a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that, or it's scrolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. Thirst. Food. Thirst, thirst, food. Thirst, 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 thirst. All right. Who needs food? Mary Jane needs food. Thirst, thirst, food. That's all of our food. So we're gonna send someone out on an expedition. There's not much you can do in this tiny bunker. We need to do something. Ah, uh, let's play a let's play a game. Let's let's play a board game. A game of checkers, a cup of coffee, and a newspaper is all a 1950s man needs. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's a true American family man right there. There's no coffee down here, and the paper boy probably got blown up. Yay, checkers though. All right, well, we don't have any food, so I'm not going to worry about any of that. I'm going to send... Who's equipped to go outside? I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to send Ted out. Ted is the, the family man. He's going to take the axe. This and the survival book. That's legit all he needs. Go out there, Ted. Go out there and make your wife proud. That's a family man if I ever saw one. Our sorry excuse for a dinner was interrupted by a raspy voice coming from outside saying, Wanna buy a rock? We claimed that we calmed down when we realized the voice belonged to the old man Jim, who used to live in our town. Well, at least I think he did. We just never quite figured out where he stayed. We should probably answer his question. It's impolite to keep him. Sure, let's buy a rock. Sure, let's let's buy a rock. Why not? We've got nothing better to do in the Poca, po 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 Pocahontas apocalyptics. Uh-oh. 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 Mary Jane, no. Old man Jim was always lovely and friendly to everyone, so of course we offered the door and fulfilled his request. He winked at us and told us the first rock is free, which we were happy to hear. A nice rock is good. Thing to ha is a good thing to have, but we don't think we will be able to trade any of our supplies for it, even if it brings luck, like he claims. No! When Mary Jane found out she was not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out and then we regrets. No! 
My sweet baby girl. That rock we got from old Jim really was a lucky one. Today he came back carrying a big bottle full of fresh, cool water. He's very generous and allowed us to drink from it. This should quench our thirst in the days to come. Oh! Mary Jane! Oh god! What have I done? Ted hasn't come back either. Oh! We don't have a radio! Ted! Ted! Oh my god! He didn't bring much back. If there's one thing we need to do, let's use the radio on a regular- Ted has returned safely in this voyage. After a bit of scouting, we arrived at the city hall. Half of it was still standing while the other half turned out to be a gaping hole in the ground. Oh no! We went into the ruins hoping to find something useful. One of the surviving rooms was a small maintenance closet. The only thing inside was a bucket full of water with a mop standing in it. We managed to fill some of the bottles with- uh, uh, bleh, uh. Okay, there's this- Oh, we returned from the expedition, but our axe didn't make it. The map really took a beating. The scouting handbook is really useful. Oh boy. Alright, alright, there's nothing we can do. We just need to get some water in our system. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the, in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect there is something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow. But how? We need to investigate. Oh, we're gonna fucking die. We're gonna die. Dolores, no! <laughs> my god, my wife. My wife. Oh, it's not looking too good. We decided to ignore any problems with the vents and focus on our other problems. As predicted, God damn it, the fucking camera. All of us developed a nasty cough and had trouble breathing, but it got better next morning. We don't know what the issue was, but the important thing is gone now. Oh, oh, we don't have a med kit. Dolores barely faced hunger. However, eating is a habit that is hard to shake off. She couldn't take it anymore. No, 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 no. Can I at least make it to day 20? Please, just let me make it to day 20. Oh, Timmy, no! They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on not necessarily will not necessarily kill us. Hunger drove Timmy insane. We lost a good one. My son is quite the soldier. I'm still alive. Somehow I'm still alive. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It has no address or name on it, but we're pretty sure it's meant. Yes, open it. Oh God, open it. Please let it be a surprise. Please let it be some supplies. Ah, food and water. We gladly accepted this sudden gift and despite our suspicions, it turned out that this was a great regular tomato soup. Oh. Uh, yes. They offer... Oh, they offer gas masks for... Yes. Today we were visited by a strange looking little man who introduced himself as a trader. He insisted his prices are so low that it's practically like cutting his own throat. The least we could do was take a look at his offers, although for some reason we don't really trust him. Oh, the gas mask. We desperately need it. Desperate. I'm desperate for some supplies. Oh, God. The weird man tried to make... The weird man tried to make us buy fried cockroaches on a, on a stick, covered in some mysterious sauce. These snacks look pretty disgusting, so we turned them down, but we bought something else from him. He looked a bit disappointed. Now, if only I could get a med kit. Ted might be able to survive an expedition. Of course he can. Of course he can survive an expedition. The gas mask is all he's gonna need. Get out there and be a family man. Oh, we're dead. No! No! Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back. Ted has been outside for too long and still has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. Of all places we could have perished, this is probably the best one. Or maybe not. We spent 29 days in our shelter. That's almost a whole month. 
basically a whole month. All right. You know what? I'll accept that. As a family man, I'd say that was a pretty, pretty good, pretty good adventure. Pretty good. Soup. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I hope that you all enjoyed this video of 60 seconds re-atomized. If there's one thing that I love, it's being a family man and showing all of you just how much of a family man I actually am. And thank you to that one dude, Chris, for allowing me to be on the channel today as a family man. You can call me that one dad. Yeah. And if you want to see his last most recent video, he'll have that link somewhere around here. And then the platform that you are currently watching this on will also recommend what you watch next. Goodbye. Family man out. <laughs>